This is a patient who is hypotensive and they ended up getting a CT scan, also had some right-sided pain. So we have a CT scan with intravenous contrast. You can see that there's a moderate-sized hiatal hernia. It's filled with fluid here in the stomach and it's a scroll organ, right organ, the spleen, kidneys, uh, adrenals, pancreas. You know, the patient is post-cholecystectomy. There's something going down the posterior right hepatic lobe. Uh, don't need to worry about that right now, but you can see that the right kidney itself is, uh, is normal looking, but it is displaced anteriorly by this large collection in the retroperitoneal space. It looks like it's in the perinephric space and the posterior perirenal space, a huge retroperitoneal hematoma that extends really at the level of the kidneys going all the way down to the pelvis, tracking along the interfascial planes. And not only that, we happen to see in this instance a pooling of uh, contrast within portions of this retroperitoneal hematoma compatible with active extravasation. So this happened to be picked up on this contrast enhanced study. It wasn't done in the arterial phase. This is your regular portal venous study. This patient went to the IR suite and they ended up embolizing some lumbar vessels in order to stop this bleed.